taking a look at the Sansi 70 watt LED grow light. Sansi, as a company, has been offering LED lights targeted at plant growers for years. Many of the bulbs as screw-in replacements for incandescence or compact fluorescence in a standard E26 socket. This one's a bit different. It's a dedicated fixture and has at least one key advantage that I like a lot. It's built to be weatherproof. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't ever actually plan on spraying my lamps with water, but overspray from misting and watering is a risk, and it's good to know that this light is certified to the IP66 waterproof standard, meaning it's been tested against a sustained spray of water with no damage. Even the on-off switch is enclosed. When you turn on the light, you'll find that it is a bright white, full-spectrum color, and this is the direction that grow lighting is going. It used to be that grow lights were that ugly blurple color, but current research has found that plants do indeed use colors from all the way through the lighting spectrum. The manufacturer claims a 90 plus color rendering index, which means it's a pretty good approximation of natural sunlight. I ran one of my old purple lamps at the same wattage side by side with the Sansi, and it definitely shows a brighter, more pleasing light. Other things I like about this lamp, it's designed for passive cooling, and even after running it a while, it's not uncomfortably hot to touch. Passive cooling means there's no fan, which eliminates the related noise and energy use. Sansi claims that their ceramic LED modules dissipate heat more efficiently than the competing aluminum construction. I also really like the small footprint of this fixture. It's under eight inches square, keeping it lightweight and easy to mount. Now to what I don't like so much. Sansi lists the lamp as 70 watts, but this is something that's easy to check, and it's just not true. The fixture draws fewer than 50 watts of power, and I see that other reviewers, both here on YouTube and in the Amazon comments section, are finding the same thing. So why the fake wattage? This isn't something that's unique to Sansi. There are dubious representations of wattage all over Amazon and eBay. The manufacturers often list the total maximum capacity of the LEDs instead of what they actually design the power supply to deliver. Sometimes they even list the wattage as some equivalent replacement value of a less efficient light source. The reason, I guess, is that some purchasers are making buying decisions on raw wattage, assuming that more watts equals more plant growth. And that's not a good rule of thumb, but so long as customers are buying that way, the manufacturers have an incentive to inflate the power rating on their listings. Sansi should just go ahead and report the honest numbers and I'll show you why. Okay, so if you go to the Sansi website, you'll find that they list this lamp as producing 3900 lumens or so. And assuming we can trust this number more than we do their wattage, you can also use that to convert to efficiency per watt. So if you look at the lamp as a 70 watt lamp, it produces about 56 lumens per watt. And that number is quite mediocre somewhat along the lines of a compact fluorescent bulb. But if you calculated the same efficiency at 50 watts, you'd get 78 lumens per watt, which is better, like a linear fluorescent. And either way, that's less efficient than the high-end commercial LED fixtures, but it's much more favorable with the 50 watt rating. So the final and most important question is this one. Does the Sansi grow lamp provide sufficient light intensity for growing plants indoors? and it depends a lot on your expectations. As mentioned, this is not a particularly efficient light. It's rated around 3,900 lumens of output. As a sole source light, it's only enough for medium intensity if you hang it, say, 12 to 15 inches above your plants, and even restrict the light to about a one square foot area. Higher than that, or over a larger area, and you can expect plants to stretch significantly. Alternately, used in a growing area with some natural light, it does make an attractive supplemental source of light, and I do love that it's waterproof, so you can use it without worrying about the odd splash of water.